Welcome everyone. In this example, we'll see how to create a data validation with unique values from the list where we have a lot of duplicates. So we have seen a similar example in the last video, but in that example, we were not using data validation. Rather, we have inserted form control combo box and ActiveX control combo box. Now we'll see how to link that thing with a dropdown from data validation. All right. So let us delete this for the time being. And let's start from scratch. Now we don't have any data validation here. All right. So I go to VBA editor and I write first function to find unique. To find unique from column B, there are two different approaches. One approach we have seen here in the last video. Second approach is pretty straightforward. All you can do is range and give the reference that say it is B1 to B. 10 for example or 100 dot advanced filter action equals excel filter copy comma copy to range and give where you want to copy this results so you would say sheet one dot range, let's say in column D. So range D one here, I want the results and I want to print only unique values. So there is a parameter unique equals true. This way, if I run this code on column B, it gives me unique values of this list. Now I can simply create a data validation from this list. To create a data validation from this list, I add another sub procedure data validation. You need to find the last available row or the last row which is having data so that you can put a range of D2 till D4 in that data validation list. So you can say LR equals sheet one dot cells rows dot count comma one not one it is fourth column dot end excel up dot row right and then we, you can say with you want to apply this on g2 so you can say with g2 or range range g2 dot validation and with here you need to pass all the properties so delete dot add type type you need to put excel validate list comma alert style which is excel valid alert stop and then operator equals excel between comma formula one Once you have these uniques, what you can do is you simply go to view and then record a macro. Let's say its name is macro one and then select the cell where you want to apply data validation. Go to data. Click on data validation. Click on data validation again. From the list, select list. And let's say in source you put D2 till D4 for the time being and click on OK. Once you do this, you will you see here this thing that means there is something wrong.
to apply data validation all you need to do is you need to go to view macros record macro let's name it as anything and then go to data data validation again data validation select list from here and then in source you say equals d2 till d4 we'll make this dynamic so you have a drop down ready with these values now go to view again macros and stop recording now go to your vb editor and copy this function and remove everything else i switch back to module 1 and here i create a sub procedure to add validation and inside that i copy that code which i generated by recording so you can see here if we read out the code it is saying with selection dot validation it is not applying on selection rather we should do it on g2 so we can change it to g2 so on g2 dot validation it applies the validation and formula is equals d2 till d4 we don't want to make it till d4 rather we want to make it dynamic and let's say that last row is lr which is coming from sheet one dot cells rows dot count will take me to the last row of this column comma fourth column which is d no, uh, yes it is fourth column dot end excel up dot row number right so what this statement is doing sheet one cells this is row number this is column number rows dot count would give me the rows present in this sheet so it is having 104 at 576 so this statement will take me here 104 at 576 comma 4 on this cell this one and then i am saying go to excel up go to end and in up direction and find the row number so end in up direction and find the row number which is 4 so that is why it is returning me 4 and i am concatenating it here instead of hard coding the value as 4 all right so this way i would be able to find unique values and then i would be able to apply validation now i apply a rule here that whenever there is a change in values in column b it should automatically find the unique values and it should automatically apply data validation on this cell for that what we can do is we go to sheet 1 and add a an event worksheet change event not selection change but change and you can say that if target dot column is equal to 2 because we are talking about column b then first of all find unique so call unique and then call the second method name which is add validation all right so let us see what happens now we have already a validation of 2018 19 and 20 let's say i add another value 2021 it automatically finds unique value here it updates the data validation as well let's say i delete these values again this is a change event it gives me unique value here it gives me unique value here any value i add here i see unique values here and the same values are updated here right so i think this is pretty enough for this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to write to me in the comment section and do not forget to share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so thank you goodbye